Well, in, in an effort to retrieve ourselves from this uh, meeting agenda debacle that Alan has put us through, I'm going to go on and move forward to Mr. Hester with the City Assessor's Office. Good evening. Good evening. I'm a new face to a couple of you. You look me over real good. <laughs> the face with the function. Uh, this thing was passed out uh, last month when I was out of town. I, I don't know exactly who got it, but I sort of synoptically reduced it down to one page. And basically that covers everything we do in a 12-month cycle. Everything we do rolls on a 12-month cycle. The land book is the January 1 to January 1 cycle. And the primary function of the, of the assessor and the staff is to appraise or value real estate. And we take those valuations and we turn them into assessment using the existing law. Thank you. Uh, almost all of the uh, uh, law that we use to produce assessments comes uh, from the state level. Just a small portion comes locally and a small portion comes from administrative procedure. And the key there is that if we, if we develop an administrative procedure and use it, then we have to use it fair and equitably to everybody and stay within the confines of the, of the existing law. <clears throat> the three dates at this point that are going to be important to council, uh, we're working very hard already on the 2014 land book, which will come out next year. We will finish the valuation of existing properties on July 1, and on July 1, as required by state law, a notice of reassessment will be mailed to the last known mailing address of every property that's on the land book. And the state law also requires us to immediately go into a hearing period, which we do during the month of July. This is a, this is a chance for everybody to sort of reconcile the information. Uh, and this is explained very thoroughly on the notice how to, how to step through this to make sure the information is right. And then in the end, if they disagree uh, with the assessment for 2014 in advance, uh, they can file an appeal. And then we go through that process again uh, to make sure it's uh, fair. And acceptable numbers. <clears throat> After that, we move into a court-appointed board of review process, and then if we have to, which seldom happens, then we end up in the third step, which is the circuit court. Uh, the last several years, we've been very fortunate where we've been able to work those situations out and haven't had to spend much legal money on that. The other date after July 1 is November 1st. That's the date that we have to turn that database over to the Department of Finance, even though the assessment period doesn't end until December 31st. We have to turn it over around November 1st because of the requirements that they have in order to prepare uh, tax billing and get it out in the, uh, the appropriate time uh, term. <coughs> uh, even though we turn the file over, we continue to do the assessment process uh, through the end of the year, uh, the difference now, since we're in twice a year billing, and we have to turn that file over so early, is we go into corrective mode on November 1st. Uh, all the reassessment work will be done. Uh, essentially, we have to pick up new construction, do the demolitions, close out the rehab credits, uh, which is really a, a big process. Uh, and we try to do that by the end of the year. But anything we do in the last two months of the year, it's basically a correction. And that's because the city uh, bills uh, in advance twice a year. Uh, those bills, I think, are this, Byron's trying to have the bills out like early, November, uh, early December for that January 14th collection. And then January 1 is the lien date or the effective date of the land book. And then we, yeah, we're in that phase right now in the 2013 land book. We're closing it out. It's going to take another uh, four or six weeks to do everything we've got to do to close it out. And then we move into the next year. Uh, and then we keep doing it over and over again. We, we value over 75,000 properties every year. So in July, don't be surprised if we have, uh, and historically we've had 1,000 to 2,000 appeals back to the office. Historically, we've had 400 to 700 appeals to the Board of Review, which is the next level up. And then historically, we've had uh, three to six cases that go to court. I mean, it's just, it's just the way it is. 
And we work with numbers and we work with them in such a high volume. Uh, there's going to be mistakes made, which we can always correct if we go through the proper process. Uh, but believe me, uh, when July 1 comes around, you're going to get uh, a significant increase in telephone calls because, uh, let's face it, everything we do causes dollars to come out of the taxpayer's pocket. And some like it, uh, some don't say anything, some get mad for no reason, uh, no justification, and uh, it just, the whole process is just there, it's, it's what we live with. And we don't lose sight of the fact that we're a council office, we're, we're a city office, but we're under the auspices of city council. And uh, we do our very best to work on that professional level that uh, uh, you do yourselves and, and deal with the people. Uh, occasionally, uh, as Captain's well aware, uh, you always have six or eight cases every year. You just can't. You can't make them happy. Uh, but we do the best we can. Thank you, Jim. Lou, okay. you had a question? Well, I was just going to ask Jim, because he <coughs> sent a couple of emails about that correction process and the impact this had on your staff when you closed the books early. I don't know if that's something you wanted to bring to their attention. Or uh, I don't, I don't know how we get there. out of it. The okay. city, uh, the, which one's probably the only city in the state that collects in advance. In other words, the assessment goes on January 1, most localities collect in, in uh, June, so we collect all the way back into October, when there's uh, minor mistakes in, the, in that database, you have time to correct it. Not only do we not have time to correct it, we've got to turn it over 60 days in advance of the effective date. So uh, it, it creates a lot of corrections. We probably do 2,000. <coughs> on a good year, we'll do 2,000 corrections to that land book. And each one consumes, you know, an hour or two hours, and it's just a, it's a long process. I don't like it, but I don't know that uh, evidently it's financially good for the city to collect money on the first 14 days of the tax year. Uh, it keeps us from doing short-term borrowing. And, uh, the but city it, uh, is there, there's a backside to that, you know, that you probably don't see and won't see very much of. But there's a high, high volume of correction that's caused by that process. Are there questions for Mr. Hester? Mr. President. Mr. Hill. Thank you. Uh, would we have some estimate of the of the hours that are spent doing this? I mean, I doubt we're going to get seven million dollars worth of cost, but it would give us some idea of of uh, what you're experiencing, at least from a cost perspective. So we're making an informed decision you know, on this uh, related to the early billing and uh, yes, and the subsequent two thousand corrections that you have to make. Yeah, I'll certainly turn that in a report to you. Okay, thank you. Thank any, you, Mr. President. Any, my pleasure. any other questions for Mr. Hester? Seeing none, we'll keep this train moving down to the thank city you. auditor's office. Thank you, Mr. Hester. Thank you very much.